Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 40 of Ocean Block. Woo! <laughs> We're in 40. <laughs> oh. In this episode, we're going to go over everything I've done in between episodes and we're going to tinker around with refining our <laughs> auto processing. I found a way to improve it. So let's go. Let's look. Oh. I have been extremely busy. Uh, <laughs> I've made another uh, 4 meg storage disk. Um, let's see, I, I actually have lava being processed or produced. I've got 1.9, that's 1900 buckets buckets well 1875 buckets <laughs> I decided to put the supreme black hole tank to use as well as the supreme uh, black hole unit so this is filling up with cobblestone um, I have a whole bunch more I just I can't figure out a good way to get that out I thought if I put an importer on it, it would suck out all the cobblestone, but I was wrong. It sucked out all the uh, two times compressed cobblestone, so that was no good. I don't know how to get it out other than just to manually pull it out and then throw it in there. times. So we have lava being produced. A, a whole lot of lava being produced. Well not really. I made a few extra compact drawers. Those are empty. This I started to put uh, lava production in. This is the old ones that I had set up and I have room for a few more that I, I want to add eventually. <laughs> but. I'm in the middle of completely redoing everything, so, oh, I changed the sand production to directly to glass, uh, so it, it smelts after it per crushes, and it produces glass. We now have uh, 1,500 stored up, which is pretty good considering, you know, uh, That'll save me a step of having to, I, I can probably take this pattern out as well. Boop. And throw that back up here. Uh, I taught it to make um, induction smelters and uh, different or find storage parts. Uh, I was trying to teach it to make cast iron <laughs> and I was I put this crafter over here um, but it, it can't work it can't make the cast iron because of the way this is set up you have to, you can't have, like, you can have input and output, but you can't have dual input. Like, ye the, the yellow, the extra yellow, is um, a different channel completely. So if I tell it to input and output, I wonder if that would work. But I can't output the top. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know, but because of that extra channel, it won't make the enriched iron. Uh, 
because it can't put the coal in. Can't put the coal in through the top. <laughs> so I was sad. Um, so I have to do it by hand, manually. <gasps> oh man. <laughs> What's the world gonna do? Um, oh, I added uh, the ender tank back here. Uh, that system feeds into the ender tank and this pulls it out of the ender tank into the system and deposits it um, over here in the black hole tank. So, yeah, <laughs> um, and I'm completely redoing the this, this auto smelting because um, if you look, how much it's gonna give uh, three. Oh, I couldn't tell. Let me, let me turn that off. It, it was so fast, you couldn't even see. Man, these are slow. Ah, oh, see? It gives you three ingots instead of just two that the pulverizer gives you. And it's because of the cinnabar. Um, if you look, it's used in... Oh, Induction smelter catalyst, it gives you three times primary modifier, so that's why we get three. Uh, but it uses up the cinnabar, but I have, I have tons of cinnabar. Um, and you get like nickel and rich slag too. Where is this going? I think it's only keeping one in there because I only have one. Uh, but I set up all of these uh, machines to import the cinnabar so they should all be ready to go. Um, I've just been grabbing one so now we have gold. I want to change this out too and have just because uh, I could store a whole bunch of other items um, in these these spots if I didn't have that. Is this, why don't I have redstone in here? Oh, probably because I used it. Alright, so what I was doing was taking this out, copper, and the cool thing is we don't need just uh, a duplicate um, furnace to smelt the dust because it turns it directly into bars, so that's cool. I think that was copper. Oh, we haven't gotten... We haven't gotten enough nuggets. There's two. There we go. Um, now let's go grab copper from here. Boop. I don't know. I don't have to have them over here. I just think that would be nice the uh, visual representation of you know what's in which one so there we go oh it's already going cuz I already had this one set up there you go nice and I have the I moved that uh, drawer controller up here so it could connect to all of these I put a trim there, so everything should be getting fed in. Is it going up? I 
My next project will be to uh, get, get upgrades in all of these machines. So that would be... Oh, I think I need to put uh, priority one on here again. Priority one. There we go. I was like, I know it's making iron. <laughs> it's like been constantly going. Alright, that's what my life is right now. I gotta get this done. <laughs> so now we're gonna do 10. Um, so this whole area can be revamped once I get this in. Um, I'll also need to put some trim over here. Um, for when I clear up this, where's my tin? There's the tin. Boop. Put that there. Check on the tin. All right, it's got a cluster waiting for us. Nice. There we go. Oh, this is going to be so nice. <laughs> I like how it's all nice and organized and you can see where things are happening and stuff. I like it. I like it. Uh, aluminum. The aluminum. Uh, is this? Yeah, this is aluminum. Boop. controller can only see so many blocks away from it. I hope I hope that is not too far. Uh, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six over here. And I know that, that it sees it in, in all of those areas. So that's six. I don't remember off the top of my head how many blocks away you can go. I think it might be 12. But I don't know where I get that from. Maybe it's just uh, redstone <laughs> I'm thinking about. I don't know. Oh, here's the aluminum. smelter. Say what? You can crush it with the hammer. You can directly put it in the furnace. You can use the tempered glass jar. You can smelt it. You can do the arc. The crusher will give you two. Uh, a washing factory. Oh my goodness. Uh, an energized smelter, yeah. You can use the enrichment chamber. Huh, so I guess I have to leave that one in the furnace. Well, in the original. Uh, 
shift? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, it won't let me. All right, so we need to put this back. So, aluminum needs to stay. Put that over there. And put that there. So what's next? Lead. I'm pretty sure lead will work. Where's lead? There's the lead. Doesn't that just make the best, most satisfying sound in the world? Boop! <laughs> just plop! I think it's, I think it's a nice sound. Oh, let's check on our lead. Oh, so there's not enough yet. Lead isn't as common. Uh, it's only, I've only got like 5k. The iron is, ooh, and I've used so much. I've got 11,000 iron. That is, that is insane. And we, we just started increasing it, so it's only gonna get even more. <laughs> so that's gonna be awesome. And, and it is seeing all of our stuff over there. Uh, I guess if I get to the point where I move it and it doesn't see it anymore, I'll know that that's the range. Oh, we got three chunks now. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Nice. So what can we do while we're waiting? I guess we can uh, look in the quest book. I think there were a couple of other things that I did in between episodes. I made, oh yeah, because we were killing the wither and I kept dying. <laughs> I killed it several times after, um, after I ended the episode and got, uh, got enough for I think we we had like five nether stars um, and so I made a nether star seed a little bit of lag made the nether star seed but it, to do that I also had to make the sanium essence so uh, I did that and we got another right sluice. <laughs> nice. That is that's pretty nice. Um, I was thinking that I might need to add another sluice that's doing um, like gravel, just to increase the production. What? That's crazy! A wyvern pickaxe? <laughs> I know that's from Draconic Ev Evolution, but if you look at that recipe... Oh, I guess that's the first tier. Still, you need an energy controller and all this crazy stuff. Hi, kitty. Hello. Are you gonna come say hello or are you just going down? <laughs> Hi! Ooh, claws! Sorry, kitty interruption. Kitty interruption. But that's still, it's pretty cool. I like it. I don't know how to use it, but... <laughs> oh, what? Did that really give me two? Kitty claws. Okay, and there's um, one more that uh, I I also had to get the wither.
skeleton seeds because I found out if you type in wither proof, you can make uh, wither proof glass and wither proof blocks. Uh, I, I kept typing in reinforced, not wither proof. So, but in order to get that, you have to have wither skeleton essence, which only comes from uh, the wither skeleton seeds. So. Uh, it's a little bit late for that. I could have saved myself from dying, you know, four or five times each time, you know. Pretty much for every wither boss I died. <laughs> um, I'm up to, I don't know how many deaths over here. Ah! I'm up to five times. I died once in the nether died once in my mob trap, so I died three times from the wither. A couple of times it was the withering effect that killed me after I had already killed him. <laughs> so that was uh, kind of funny. A blazing battery? That's pretty nice. Um, I think I have a spirited one which is a little bit whoa look at how low it is what I need to um, there is a doodad in thermal expansion well thermal series that um, charges items what is it called? The energetic infuser? Energetic. It looks different. Yes, it's that's what it is. Oh, kitty, kitty's claws. Electrum lead flux coils. I think I already taught it to do that. Okay, so what I want is chemical extender, no, auxiliary reaction chamber, cycle processing. Transmission of energy. Well, I think 
they must have removed it. Extender, a chemical amplifier that just affects the radius, uh, increases fuel efficiency for dynamo, dynamo, oh that might make the output go to the input strange. I don't know. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get wireless. I just thought of that. But they must have changed it. What did I do? Oh, I got that pickaxe. Ooh, a tier 8 range add-on. That's, uh, not your part of Berg. Got some good stuff. A battery, a netherite sluice, and a tier 8 rate, uh, range add-on for industrial forego. That'd be good for a farm. All right, where was I? Let's look at our lead. I bet it's ready now. Oh, look, we got eight of them. <laughs> um, there we go. Boop. And oh, there it goes. It finally got it. Finally got it. Alright, so we can also do take iron dust, gold dust, copper dust, tin dust, leave the aluminum, and we can take out the lead dust. And then there's osmium. Ooh, I wonder if osmium can be... Can I see... Can osmium go through the induction smelter? It can. Okay. So we can do osmium. What are you? Osmium. I need you. go there. Um, almost. There's three. <laughs> and there we go. We got our osmium cluster. Boop. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be doing for a while, uh, just setting this up. I'm going to, let's go see if it sees the osmium first. Osmium. It does. It does see the osmium, so that's good. Uh, that's six, though. That's how far away I have it over here. I know it works there. I just don't know if I'll get the other uh, four. Um, I guess I could put a slave. I think that's how it works. It, it extends the, the range, I think. Maybe we'll have to try that. I think uh, that's how I remember it. Um, I 
Yeah, so <laughs> nothing too exciting, I guess. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna work on that some more. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!